Right, so uh, yeah, that's the end of the test. How do you think you did? I think the first one, uh, the start was not good. I forgot my seatbelt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think it is a serious yeah, one. Yeah, you know what the title of this video is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome to another video. So today we have another mock driving test before we get started. Any of you that are learner drivers, I want to take part in one of these mock tests which are absolutely free. All you need to do is uh, drop us a message on Instagram at DGN Driving. So give us a follow, drop us a message and uh, we select um, learners randomly for these mock tests. Like I said, which are absolutely free because you guys allow us to upload them onto social media. And the other thing, if any of you are learning to drive, don't forget to check out the Ultimate Driving Course Share, which is my driving course, and there will be a short video uh, in this mock test video, yeah, just giving you more information about it. Right then, so today's learner driver is uh, Dippin. Yeah, hey. Dippin, so could you tell us a bit about your driving? Yeah, uh, I have been driving uh, cars almost 15, 16 years. So I was driving back in India. Uh, I came to UK last year and I started driving here on international driving license. Okay, have you had any lessons here? Um, no. So you're just uh, driving your own car here? Yeah, yeah? no lessons. Car, okay, yeah. cool. So um, how do you feel? Do you feel your, your, is it your driving's good or is there something that you struggle with? Anything you need to improve on? Uh, I think my driving is pretty okay. Probably certain things, uh, minor things which I need to uh, clean up or a bit focus on. Probably it might be on the roundabouts or certain things. Cool. Otherwise, well, I feel like I, I'm doing okay. Well, we'll definitely find out today, yeah? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So, you've been watching the videos, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, um, if, you do if you do make a fault, I won't say anything. Um, we'll speak about that at the end of the test, yeah? Okay. Yeah. For yeah. those of you who are watching, if Dippin makes any faults, I will talk about them just before they happen. Any serious faults will be in red text. Any normal faults in amber text, yeah? So, Dippin has never driven this car before. Mm -hmm. Um... And yeah, we're gonna start off by following the sat nav. Okay. okay. The show me tell me questions. Have you done them yet? No, I would like to. Okay. You wanna go through? You still want me to ask you the question? Or yeah. You? Okay. So, could you tell me how you would check your headlights and taillights are working? Yeah. Uh, there will be a marker and indicator on the dashboard. Uh, when I press the brake lights, I'll see a lights turning there and it will indicate on the dashboard as well. So that was for the brake yeah, lights, yeah. The, the headlights and taillights? Yeah, for the headlights, uh, when we turn it on, it will indicate on the dashboard. If it is on main beam, if it is on lower beam, it will there will be an indicator there. Okay, so you kind of got half the answer, yeah, but the correct, the full mm -hmm. correct answer is, yeah. So remember the question is how we check that your headlights mm -hmm. and taillights are working. So you need to say you'll switch them on mm -hmm. using that, yeah. Okay, and how you check they're working, not just the signs inside, like the signs might come, in, come on in, inside, yeah, but how you check they're working outside, how do you check? Yeah, for the brake lights, uh, I'll put Not the for the brake lights, the headlights, yeah, headlights and taillights. Headlights and taillights. Yeah. When you switch them on, switch on uh, how will we'll, you check? Uh, I'll move around the car and That's check it. all the... Good, walk around the car yeah. and then see if they're working, yeah. yeah. Right then, so, are you ready? Yeah. Cool, so whenever you're ready, if you could move off and, uh, yeah, just continue following the sat now, please. Okay. okay. Dippin forgets to fasten his seatbelt. Not the best start. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Stop, stop. Okay, you didn't put your belt on. Oh, sorry, I... It's when you ask me to... Sorry. Okay, no problem. He did check the right blind spot earlier, before he forgot the seat belt. He should check it again before moving off, as it's been a while. He doesn't check. This right turn he does really well. He selects the gear at the right time, positions correctly and doesn't cut the corner when turning. Mm -hmm. 
Dipper notices the vehicle parking up and holds back in a good position, leaving enough space. When moving off, he brings the clutch pedal up a bit too fast, so stalls. He reacts well though. This is a steep uphill junction. Again, dip and stalls. He reacts well by keeping good control and not rolling back. safe on the left please. He parks up in a good position but signals slightly late. Notice how he starts slowing down first and then signals after. Always warn traffic behind that you're about to slow down by signaling first. Thank you and move off when you're ready. When moving off, Dippen isn't using what we call the POM routine. I totally get it, as he's an experienced driver from a different country and not using the routine isn't a big issue as he is doing the checks before moving off. But the right blind spot check should be done just before moving. Watch how he does all his checks and then gets the gear. He should check the right blind spot again as it's been a while and the situation could have changed. He holds back well for the oncoming vehicle and checks the correct mirrors before overtaking. This is an interesting one. The oncoming car is waiting for us so Dippen says thank you by raising his hand. I was speaking to one of our instructors who told me that his learner got a minor fault for taking his hand off the steering to say thank you. What are your thoughts on this? When behind another vehicle, it's important to keep a safe distance. To judge this, you can use the two second rule. Dippen keeps a good distance and doesn't get too close. The videos obviously help you because you're going into that lesson knowing exactly what you're going to do and just having that knowledge just makes that lesson faster and you feel a lot better. 38 easy to understand precise videos covering every single topic required to pass the driving test. These are not just theory based, they are practical videos demonstrating everything from moving off and stopping a vehicle to all of the maneuvers and every other module required. So if you're lacking knowledge, or maybe your instructor has forgotten to cover something, or you're just not grasping a certain topic, then this course has it covered. You can watch the videos before your driving lessons, which means you'll get into the car knowing exactly what to do. This will definitely save you time. Ahead, keep right. The sat-nav has just instructed to keep right, and when most learners hear this, they move into the right-hand lane. As you can see on the sat-nav, our turn is still half a mile away, so it would be too early to position in the right-hand lane. Dippen does well not to rush and waits until we're closer to our turn before changing lanes.
orientating right at these lights, Dippin gets a good position and only goes when it's safe. Speed limit is 30 miles per hour. Dippin does go slightly over it as you can see on the sat nav, but does slow down in time. 300 yards, go right on the roundabout, third exit. Go right on the roundabout, third exit. This roundabout he enters well and carries out good observations before changing lanes to exit the roundabout. At this roundabout who does everything well apart from checking the mirrors before signalling to exit. Turn right. This right turn is on a sharp bend. Instead of following the bend round to get a better view of the oncoming vehicles, Dippin steers to the right a bit early and stops to give way to the vehicle that's approaching from the right. We had priority over that vehicle and should have only waited for the oncoming vehicles. Remember guys, on your test, always be considerate towards other road users, but when you have priority and it's safe, always continue. When he hears third exit, Dippin is about to select the right hand lane, but if we look at the roundabout sign, the third exit is straight ahead, so I do tell him we're going straight ahead. I'm not too sure if he's a bit confused by this, but as he approaches the roundabout, Dippin decides to stop even though it was perfectly safe to enter. Straight ahead, yeah. Cross the roundabout, third exit. At the end of the road, turn left please. Here we have a stop sign. It seemed to me that Dippin only came to a complete stop because of the car that approached. When I asked him about this during the feedback at the end, he does say that he was going to stop anyway. Still not too sure about that mate. I've just asked Dippin to park on the right hand side of the road. He parks up opposite another vehicle which narrows the space in the road.
you and reverse two car lengths. Two lengths? Yeah, two car lengths, please. Now, when reversing in this situation, vehicles that are approaching from behind don't usually affect us. But because of the parked vehicle opposite us, the vehicles approaching from behind have to enter our side of the road. So Dippin should stop for them, which he doesn't do. And when I ask him to move off, he should check the left blind spot just before moving off. He does check it, but not at the right time. enough and move off when you're ready please that's the end of the test let's find out how Dippin feels about forgetting his seatbelt Thank you, and switch off the engine different. We're going to end the test here. Okay. Right, so uh, yeah, that's the end of the test. How do you think you did? I think the first one, uh, the start was not good. I forgot my seatbelt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is a serious yeah, one. Yeah, you know what the title of this video is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so seatbelt, apart from that, you're driving. Mm -hmm. Do you think you made any serious faults on your driving? Mm, probably, I think, uh, at one of the roundabout, I ended up, I think at the turn, I ended up in the right lane. But yeah, I, I moved to left one. A uh, couple of stalling, but uh, as, as it is a new car, so... Stalling was, you reacted well to the stalling, yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, let me just go through. Um, you're doing really well, your standard of driving, yeah. Okay, don't get me wrong, you know when um, I have um, drivers that have been driving in different countries such as India, yeah, because you said you've been driving there for a while. Yeah. They have so, so many bad habits, yeah, and the driving is quite aggressive, yeah, there's no lane discipline, and yours was very good, yeah, a lot better than I was, I was expecting. Apart from the seatbelt fault, you, 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 you did, like, you didn't really well till the last about 10-15 minutes, yeah, that's when you had a few more serious faults. Okay, so one was at that, you know, towards the end, we were following the sat nav, and it was a very sharp right turn. Mm -hmm. It was on a bend. So as you approached, yeah, you looked to the right there, mm -hmm. and you stopped for that car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you know who had priority there? Uh, the car on, on the car which was on the. No, road? you did. Yeah, oh, is it? You, because I think we were on the yield. Uh, we, we were stopping there and it was yelled for us and no, because it, it was a crossroad we were no it, it, it wasn't the end of the road so it was like this mm -hmm. it was a the road was a, it was a bend yeah oh, okay and oh okay where the gentlemen were crossing the road no yes. not that okay, one not that one okay not that one so after the Birmingham new mm -hmm. road mm -hmm. when we when we came off that road yeah Mm -hmm. We went down and he, and you fall in the sat nav and he was a. Uh, so you were here, uh -huh. yeah. If you guys can see that as well, yeah. So um, you were you were here, mm -hmm. yeah. So you were gonna turn right. Okay. Who do you have oh, to wait we for? Have, oh, we we don't have to wait. We just have to wait for oncoming traffic. That's it. You have to yeah. wait for the. So you positioned too much over the line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you stopped a bit far back and you started waiting for these people. Ah, oh, okay. You understand, yeah? It is a tricky turn, that is. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so if it's on a bend, you got to be careful. You should have followed the bend around a bit more. Mm. Don't worry about these. Mm. Worry about the oncoming vehicles. Yeah, Understood. you get that? Good. Understood. Yeah. And um, then after that, soon after that, 
the the sat nav instructed you to take the third exit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As soon as you hit the third exit, there were two lanes on approach, and you were about to go into the right mm -hmm. one. And I said to you straight ahead. Yeah. Yeah, because I didn't want to go off route. Yeah. Okay. As soon as you hit that, you you came back to the left. So as soon as you hit the third exit, don't always assume it's going to be right. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I on one of the signboard. I think it. I saw it's past uh, twelve o'clock. It was it, it was straight. Straight. Yeah, okay. on the signboard it was straight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when you look back at the video, good point. Yeah. Yeah. If it is past twelve o'clock, then it's <laughs> normally right ten. Yeah. Okay. But it was straight. Keep in mind. Yeah. It was straight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That that's good knowledge from you though. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you, you came back to the correct lane, and I think you maybe because you're a bit confused about the roundabout. You just it was clear from the right. There's nobody coming. Yeah. And what did what did you do? If there is no one coming on from the right, yeah. it's it's we can approach there. Yeah, roundabout. you, have, you yeah. stopped. Okay. Yeah, because I just may, I just wanted to make sure like. Yes, yeah, see, yeah. Uh, yeah, but if your view is restricted, mm -hmm. fine. fine. But if it's Otherwise, a good view and approach, yeah. Uh, basically, I think that happened because you were a bit confused about because you were gonna go into the right lane. Then I said it's straight yeah. ahead, and then you just stopped. Because I had to visualize which way we have to take where yeah. where where is the exit. Because I was thinking about that. Okay, this is one, two, three, the yeah. third exit, and uh, yeah, G good point again. Uh, do you understand why that can be marked as a serious fault? Just going to a roundabout and just stopping. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It would be so much easier if we could just all go to a roundabout and just stop, sort ourselves out, visualize everything, and then go. But you, you gotta have that pre-planned. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So that one. Um, and um, there was. Okay. You know the stop sign. Mhm. Mm so when you first approached it, yeah, you were you were slow. But you kept creeping, and then that car, when that car turned up, then you stopped. Yeah. Yeah, because it was the car appeared from the yeah. slope, so I couldn't see it until I uh, just move a little. Good. If that car wasn't coming, would you have fully stopped or would you have continued? No, I would stop. You would still. That's, yeah. I just wanted to make sure because yeah. I thought, like, because you had approached it and you hadn't fully stopped, but then you only stopped when the car when the car came so just wanted to make sure even if that car's not there make sure you you stop that yeah you start yeah. the stop sign because that's it's fine. not a yelled one that's it right so uh, the manoeuvre ask you to park on the right mm -hmm. yeah you, you parked um, in an okay place but then when I ask you to reverse yeah before you reverse what should you do Check your back. Yeah. All the all yeah. All check around. all around. Yeah. So you check out the back. Wasn't too happy with that. And then uh, after you started racing, then you did do one. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your main observation: you turn your head fully back and look at the back screen. Okay. And then there were there were cars coming from this side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know when you parked, there was a car parked opposite as well, wasn't there? Mm -hmm. And because of that car, those vehicles that were coming from behind them. they had to come onto our side of the road yeah so when they were when they were on your side of the road you should have stopped you know if those parked cars if that parked vehicle wasn't there mm -hmm. and those cars are staying on their side of the road they don't really affect you do they mm -hmm. but because of the situation, situation you should have stopped for them okay make yeah. room for them yeah let them pass. yeah because you're on, like they had to come on your side of the road didn't they because of that parked car if yeah. that parked car wasn't there they're not you, st you still have to wait for the oncoming cars though yeah, yeah. okay but yeah, so all ran for observations there, like looking at the back and yeah. the judgment for the cars. And then when you moved off, yeah, what should your final check be? On the left, because we are moving to the left. Yeah, the left what? So left you know, mirror and, and the center. Obviously. Not just the mirror. The fire, So you know when you move off here now, what's the final check that you do? Yeah, we have to check on the shoulders. Uh, yeah, the, the blind shoulders, spot. Blind spot, yeah. But you didn't check the left blind spot? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I you check the mirror. Yeah, you check the mirror. So you know when you move from this position when you're parked up, you you've been checking check your right blind spot. Blind yeah. Spot. Okay. Yeah. Just make sure that's checked just before moving off. Yeah. Sometimes you do check it a little bit early. But when you're on that side of the road, you should have been there. Yeah. Okay. And you missed that check. That okay. Good. So those faults there, but you can easily like sort those out. It's not it's something that's going to require a massive amount of lessons. Yeah. Your driving's at a good standard. Yeah, um, more or less ready for your test. Okay, yeah. uh, uh, a bit more practice, and yeah, definitely go for your test. Okay, any okay. questions?
No, I think I uh, got a few points and which I need to work upon. Yeah, that was really good. Well, good to know. Yeah, the, but like I said, a lot better than I was expecting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank okay. you for that. <laughs> well then. Right. So, um, guys, like always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.